Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and it's my pleasure to rise and support Bill 10, the Victims Restitution and Compensation Amendment Act. This bill will allow law enforcement means to seize proceeds of crime through civil courts. Uh, criminals are more organized than ever, and our law enforcement uh, agencies need powerful tools to match. The roots of organized crime runs deep, and uh, and set, and they, uh, the, the, sorry, the roots of organized crime run run deep, and we must do whatever we can uh, to help our police enforcement agencies. Taking the assets of a drug dealer or a gang member is and should be a priority. The property seized will be put to victims' restitution and send a clear signal that not only will criminal behavior not be stomached, and the, but the wealth generated will be taken away. Mr. Speaker, as I traveled the province as chair of the Safer Communities Task Force, I heard heartful messages from Albertans across this province about how they felt that the criminals had more rights than the victims. To those unfamiliar with the criminal world or the dark side, at the time of my travels, there were 54 criminal groups identified. And you can bet as I stand here on March 24, 2010, there are way more than 54. Mr. Speaker, recommending eight of the Safer Communities Task Force and report was develop and enact and enforce legislation allowing the province to seize money and property gain through the proceeds of crime and use these resources to fund victims' compensation, crime prevention, and crime re, uh, programs. Bill 10, uh, under Section 24, uh, indicates that on, under 44-1, subject to the regulations, the minister may make payments or grants for money that is paid to the Crown under this Act for any one or more of the following purposes. A is compensa compensation of victims, B is programs that benefit victims, C is prevention of illegal acts, 4 is provision of compensation to the Crown or prescribed public bodies for costs incurred to protect the safety or health of persons or to protect property as a result of illegal acts, and uh, E is other purposes provided by the regulations. My only concern with this, Mr. Speaker, is one word, and that would be may versus shall. While I'm not a lawyer, that one word makes a world of difference and gives the government the leeway on how the proceeds of crime can or should be spent. Victims of violent crime strive to regain what was lost, either uh, money or psychologically. Recovery from a violent crime can include time off work, meaning lost income, and in some cases, uh, victims can become disabled. Victim programs can offer help preparing for court appearances, preparing victim impact statements. The Safer Communities Task Force spoke to the importance of stable, long-term, three-year funding for community-based social agencies that, with proven outcome. Mr. Speaker, Bill 10 talks to what is important for Albertans. They want the bad guy to pay up and those who have suffered at the hands to be fairly compensated. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm going to uh, continue to listen to the debate on Bill 10 and um, hear what the rest of the members uh, have to say about that. And so I want to thank you.